Hi everybody, how are you doing? It's Jane from Chalk Mercantile and of course Surface Anthology. Welcome, welcome to some making a mess after the holidays. <laughs> and I have certainly been doing that. Um, today I want to show you guys how I make my own custom color waxes. And I've been doing this for a while. Um, I think it's when I was back in art school and we were, I took a class where we learned how to add pigments into oil for oil paint. So, um, of course, oil waxes oil and you can throw anything in there that you want pretty much as far as pigments go. So what I'm doing today is I'm actually using um, a new product. It's Mind Your Own Beeswax from Amy Howard at Home and I'm mixing in some Miss Mustard Seed Milk Paint in Artissimo. And I'll tell you why I chose um, this color combo in a sec. I wanted to remind you guys that my Surface Anthology membership is open. So if you're interested in learning techniques like this, applying them to furniture, floors, doors, walls, you name it, come join me in the Surface Anthology membership. It's $23 a month. You get workshops, Facebook group, a nice discount in my Chalk Mercantile shop, and um, other good stuff too. So go to surfaceanthology.com, click on the membership, and join. So back to the project. I, I'm In January, I tend to go through my unfinished projects, and I, I'm like, I'm either going to finish it or get rid of it. And this is a little um, project that I did, I began a while ago, and it's little pens. So it'll be a, like a banner, a bunting, there's all kinds of names for this. And I used these um, triangle, it's MDF board triangles. And I painted them in uh, Amy Howard at Home. And I think this is Italian silver. I wrote it down, Italian silver. And I put um, iron organ molds on there. I glued those on. And I have the feather mold. And the bow is from the laurel mold. And then after that, because I love to layer and create those really beautiful finishes, I highlighted everything with silver metallic paint. So I got that far and it just still looks really flat to me. Um, I did really do brush strokes here. I'm into brush strokes, you guys. When I was in France at this country chateau, it was dreamy. But I was looking at all the hand-painted walls, the furniture, and there's a lot of texture. They, they just would layer and layer with the most beautiful materials and create depth and texture. And I saw those brush strokes and, you know, I was sold. So uh, that's my thing. So what I'm doing, now here's one that I finished. And you see, let me find another bow here. You see the difference here, right? So here it is without any wax or, and I also, I'm going to sneak in and show you guys how I use Dust of Ages. And it's just kind of blah. So here is what the finished product looks like. And a lot of people ask me, well, this is all fine and good, Jane, when you're working on moldings and fancy pieces, but what's it gonna look like on a flat surface? And if I, let me cover this up. Oh, we'll just use the back of one of these. If we take that away, you can see all that beautiful texture and depth that's created. And I even, I buff this a little bit and I'll do it more, but you can see a little bit of a sheen there too. So that's what I'm going after. So let me show you how I did this. Move this over to the side and I'm gonna mix up some more. 
I'm using a little cardboard palette, which I always use for my waxing. A uh, natural bristle brush. This is an Amy Howard um, two inch natural bristle brush. And yep, they're like a glorified chip brush, but they're much thicker. As you can see, I've had this one for years, as you can see by the rest. But I love these little brushes for this application. And I'm using the uh, Mind Your Own Beeswax. So I'm going to squeeze a little bit of this out. We don't need a lot. And then I'm just going to grab, um, this is the Miss Mustard Seed Artissimo. Now, Miss Mustard Seed has changed. The brand has changed everything. And I keep forgetting the name of this. I think it's Inkwell or um, it has ink in it. But this is one of my favorite colors. I use it a lot. It's just a beautiful, deep blue. And it's not too country blue. It's just a, like a really deep, um, you can't really even say navy, but it's it's just gorgeous. I love it. So I'm just going to grab a little bit of this. Just a touch. And I need even less than that for how much I'm mixing up here. Plop that down. Grab a tongue depressor. And I know you guys have seen me do this for years with um, the Dust of Ages, which is another Amy Howard product. And I mix that in with wax all the time. All right, so there it is. All right, you see how deep that is. I do not want a brown uh, wax finish here. I want something cooler because it's winter and I'm trying to think of kind of, I want to hang this over my fireplace and um, I want something wintry but not brown. So this is what I'm going for. And all I do, grab this one, just load up your brush and Counts in there. And you know what? I just realized as I'm doing this, this one had a coat of clear wax on it first. And you can see how different. So I'm going to continue doing this, but you're going to see how completely different that is. And I'm, I'm realizing that now, and this is what can happen. You see how it's kind of biting. So I'm going to liquefy it a little bit more with the beeswax. And get in there. And I just keep turning the brush to get into all the little nooks and crannies. And the edge. And as I move it around, I could see all the areas I didn't get in between the mold. All right, so this is going to be dramatically darker than the other one. And then I'm just gonna kind of wipe away. And you have to keep turning when you're doing this, you've gotta keep turning the cloth because otherwise it's just gonna lay down more. Oh, and I really like this one. This one's gonna be super dramatic. <laughs> I just want to kind of get in around here. And I'm buffing that silver. Just 
my other. So look at that, how's that for drama? Wow, and that's with Artissimo and the Mind Your Own Beeswax without a slip coat, you guys. Look at the difference between with a slip coat and without a slip coat. So you need to, when you're doing pieces, and this is a great little project to test colors and, and techniques, you know, something small like this. And you could even use it, you know, as sample boards. Make sure you write on the back what you did. And to me, that is just so incredible. And that is the same wax that I used. All right. Let me see if there's another one here. I'm going to let this uh, dry just a little bit. And then we're going to use the dust of ages and see what happens then. Here's one that has been wax. So this has a slip coat of wax and this was a while ago. So um, you can go right over it. So let's see how this looks. moving this brush around all right so already it looks lighter right right around but let me buff it off so you can see And keep turning, turning that cloth. And I'm going to buff out that silver a little bit. And that's it. You, I mean, you can make really an infinite uh, variety of colors depending on what um, milk paint you have. And this is just one way of creating your own colors. And I have milk paint, I sell milk paint, I use milk paint, got all these colors. I could add a little bit of green to the Artissimo uh, to create a teal color wax. It is truly only limited by your imagination. Okay, so there, look at the difference. Right? And here's my original one. Put it down like that. And this has the dust of ages on it. This does not. Now, if I want to lift a little bit of it, and I'll probably leave it. I kind of like it. It doesn't bother me. But if you want to lift a little bit, all you have to do, let me just wipe off my hand here, is grab your wax, whatever the clearer wax was. And this is the um, Mind Your Own Bees wax. I'm just going to put some down and dip my rag into that wax and then lift a little bit of this just to show you guys. So let's get and it starts to lift off because it's activating that wax that's drying now. So you see what happens there. So don't panic if, if this happens to you. Just grab some clear wax. 
dabbing it on to activate. And I'm just wiping it and turning it. And that starts to kind of lift that up. And I'll do a little bit more down here. Right? So that kind of helps a little bit, though I still really like it. Um, and now what I'm going to do is show you guys how to use the Dust of Ages on this. And you do need to let the wax kind of set so it's not like oily. This one feels good. So I have, again, another chip brush. My Dust of Ages, which is literally a dust, right? There it is. It's a great color. And I'm just tapping it in. You could also just add Dust of Ages to your beeswax or your clear wax. And you'll make another color of wax. All right. I'm going to get it all in here. If you're sensitive to dust, wear a mask. So once you do that to your piece, you want to kind of buff it up. And now your piece is finished, by the way. This is done. It's got a really nice, durable finish on it. And let me show you, move this away. So they're the ones with the Dust of Ages. And here's the one with Add It, and I think I'm gonna try it. This is the one, remember, we didn't use a slip coat. I didn't use a slip coat of clear. So, move those over, and I'll show you these up close in a minute, because they're really beautiful. Again, you just dip your brush into the Dust of Ages, Tap that in. You don't want to do this when your wax is really wet. And it won't work if it's totally dry. It needs something to grab onto. Okay, looks good. Take our cloth. And you see how it looks before you buff it. There is after. And that's it. Your piece is finished. So, isn't that beautiful? I mean, what better way to create a really, really authentic, this would be like beautiful as a, what are they calling it, like a chateau panel um, using this technique. But you see how much darker the wax was when I didn't have that slip coat, right? You still see that even with the dust of ages. But um, I love it, I love, I love them both. So I'm gonna tie these together with some twine, hang them up and enjoy. And um, again, I'll bring one of the, the raw ones in. This is how they started. Pretty, but just really flat to me. And um, this is a great way to create texture on flat surfaces. Um, that don't have all the carving and, you know, panels and all of that. So that's it, you guys. Your quickie little um, tutorial on how to mix up your own color of wax using, I used Mind Your Own Beeswax and Miss Mustard Seeds 
Artissima, which I think is called Inkwell. I think it is, or Ink Blue. <laughs> I'm so bad. Um, again, if you want to join the membership, it's open. Go to surfaceanthology.com, click on the membership, and join us. Hope you have a wonderful day today and happy painting. See you soon.